admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. 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 You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Oh. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? Who am You're I? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Didn't we? <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell Ooh. us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. You worked for Perseus, Bell. I know it's hard to believe. But Arash Kadavar 86 to you at that airfield in Turkey. Oh, shit. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duba. This, you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. Damn. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the in the end, no specific background really stuck with you. You resisted everything we tried, so we just kept it a mystery. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. Mm. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were a guinea pig for the CIA's MK Ultra program. They used yeah. me and Adler's missions in Vietnam to create new memories. Nothing brings people together like wartime. Instant family, brothers in arms. <laughs> you people are, are sick. Are your hands clean, Bell? Uh, I don't know. I'm Interrogation didn't work hope. with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else. We could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. <laughs> Fuck this. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are gonna get it out of you. We have a job to do. Oh shit. Well, we've got Come a job. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind the door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. 
It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. Mm. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green like Arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to find who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. <laughs> Truth and <a> lie. <laughs> I was gonna fucking lie. <laughs> Duga. Since I was like, I got the good ending before. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. My last playthrough. <laughs> you made the right choice, pal. Come on. You're still one of us. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> oh, it's red now. Oh. Adler. What's it talking right. about? Oh, time to expo. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, this way. We won't let the president down. Oh, fuck. Oh, some shit's about to go down. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. The Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big and proven over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. <laughs> I never doubted it. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him. He fucking lied to us. That true, Bell? Uh oh. Pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes. Oh, fuck. I had no other choice but to trust you. What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. Huh. Those nukes were for defense, not offense. You don't recognize the difference? I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Damn. Apparently we didn't oh. do a good enough job. They look pissed. Time's up, kid. <laughs> you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Now, there's this secret. We got this. Take cover inside, Oh, shit. Oh my! 
Why are you shooting me? Fuck you. Oh, what? So there's this dead ops, not dead ops, fucking dark ops mission where I execute all the guys in the go. Ooh. Yes! Fuck you! <laughs> Damn, I just killed Mason and <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, where is he? Oh, that's so cool. Oh shit. Oh. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? <laughs> I'd offer you a cigarette, but you don't smoke anymore. Should I offer him the lighter? We tried to help you with all your worst qualities. I guess science still has its limits. Please, just shut him up. <laughs> Looks like you made a new friend. <coughs> I'm happy for you. He seems charming. He's really growing on me. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> you remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. Oh shit. Let the Soviet area begin. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold. But that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. What the fuck? <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. <laughs> ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. <laughs> Yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. Damn. My God. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago. Presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun.
We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javadi, your former friends killed him. No matter. Kasim was always a weak link, and the chain cannot break. It is a shame you had to kill Anton Volkov. He was our most valuable GDR asset. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow. You say that Eliezer Azoulay perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. And Helen Park was wiped out with him. She had been sniffing around the edges of our group for years. One less Western nuisance for us to deal with. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. Even though we have prevailed, the CIA has significantly wounded our foundation inside the U.S. Robert Aldrich has been killed, and our network there has collapsed. It could take us years to regain the footing we have lost. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate all three of Rudnik's key assets. We have no one else to help fill the void. Inserting new agents into such influential positions will take years. But have no doubt, these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend. that's it that's the campaign honestly realism was not hard at all pretty fucking easy actually <laughs> that that ending was nuts because the first time i played it i um i did everything good so I, I basically got the best possible ending and here i just <laughs> i did everything like shit <laughs> i killed everybody just being an asshole that's what i wanted to do i thought it was funny that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.